I always encourage you, my viewer, and in the community around, that we need to grow food to stay healthy, because a hungry person is an angry one. I always encourage people to use some homemade uh, manure, homemade pesticide, because these things which God created naturally, they don't disturb, they don't have side effects. They work better. I've used them, and I told you whatever I've used at the farm, and it has worked for me, I'll already share it with you, my viewer. Today, I have another one. It's some homemade um, uh, organic manure, a liquid manure. That is what we are going to have a look at. And we mixed this manure just last week. So it has been here. We added some human urine in it. Those of you who have been following my story. So today, I want to show you how we are going to apply this manure in our soils to get better food. Christine is my name, the principal farmer a real life coach, and also a path to your smiling destination. Because I've told you, a hungry person is always an angry one. So we are here today. Uh, we have this manure, the liquid manure. Very beautiful, as you can see it. It's the liquid manure. We added goat's dung in here. We added some ash in here. We also added some urine in it, human urine. It was here, five liters. We added um, 20 kilograms of uh, goat's dung, the goat, goat's pupu. We added um, water, 20 liter jerry can, and five liters of this, then two kilograms of ash. Some of my friends were telling me that, why didn't you use gloves? Yes, I have some clinical gloves here, not the garden gloves, but I won't use them because I want everybody to farm. Number one, make sure where you're going to get this urine here. The urine should be very much sterile in nature. Those people should not be taking medications because whatever we put in our bodies can affect the quality of this urine here. We want the urine to come out really pure, sterile. Then we add it in our manure. Why do we have to add it in our manure here? Because urine has the content of urea. Urea is very good. Even these things you buy from the supermarkets, from the shops, from the groceries where they sell these, um, the agro, agro inputs. They always have ure, urea content in those, um, in those manure they sell, in those fertilizers. Those are called fertilizers. So we made our manure. It is here. It is now three days down the road, and we are going to apply it in the soil. So I told you I'm not going to use my gloves because I'm sure of the source where I got this from. So what are we going to do? When you are applying manure, make sure it's a rainy season. Why? Because water is a medium that is going to help to transfer all these nutrients here into your crops to grow very well. So this manure of ours here, which you're seeing, we are going to apply it. I have a container. It is one liter. You can give a plant, if they are serious, uh, 250 mils. So that means if they are serious, you give four of them this uh, container here of one liter. So I'm going to sample it on my green peppers. I've scooped some. This is something like uh, uh, 800 mils, which I'm going to apply on at least some three crops. So it has not been raining for the past... Uh, few days here at the farm, something like a week. I told you we are farming in the semi-arid areas of northern Uganda. Somebody was like, no, we are not. Until when we visited Google and we sorted ourselves. We are, we are working and farming in the semi-arid areas of northern Uganda. So it has not been raining uh, for the past one week. But I have some place here where water is flowing in my farm. So I'm going to apply this manure on one of the crops. I'll just pour like this. The good thing it is completely natural, completely uh, godly given. Urea is rich in this thing. We shall apply like that. So there is no overdose here. After you have done your application of manure, uh, the next thing you have to do, maybe which I've not been sharing with you, my viewers, always after you have... Uh, Applied the manure, uh, you have applied fertilizers, 
you've been spraying crops in the garden, you should always come back in your garden. Like for us here, we gazetted this area. We don't have any crops. We don't have any plants around here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how you should wash your hands, how to wash your hands after you have done this work. Because I've done my work without gloves. So I'm showing you how you should wash your hands. And make sure you always wash from the garden before going back home. Please, farmers, we need water. Make sure water is readily available. So at this same point, where I mix my manure from, I'm going to show you how to wash hands. I came with a piece of soap. You've been missing this bit, but people wanted it, so I'm going to show you how we wash hands. We get soap. Like this. Put enough of this. And we shall start from the elbow here. From this corner up here. Is where we shall start from. You apply soap. Going downwards. Like this. Then we wash. We wash. Like this. Make sure this soap is going off properly. Like this. After that, you add soap. We are now going to the real fingers. I'm showing you how we wash always after we have done our farm work. You start with your thumb like this. The right on the left. Then the left on the right. You wash the thumb on this part here properly like this. After that, we shall do like this. To make sure there is no medication, there is no content from the farm that is going to remain on your hands. Then scrub. When you scrub like this, it is going to help your fingernails. Anything that you would have gotten stuck here to get out. Like this. We do the same on this side. Then from there we shall scrub again the right on the left. We are still washing hands. For you who are worried of not using the gloves, please do the washing like this. Now we can wash. We can wash. Make sure the source where you get your urine, you are aware of it. Somebody is not taking some medication. Then after that, wash your hands like this. These natural things, they have kept us healthy at the farm. I showed you one of uh, my videos where people were taking aloe vera, where people were taking things like, um, um, they were taking things like um, ginger, we were taking lemon and all those things to make themselves better. So this is how we wash hands. This is how we wash hands and make ourselves better and make ourselves clean. I think right now you can see my hands are properly clean. I can even put back my wedding ring and look smart. So that is how we wash our fingers. That is how we do our farming here in the farm. That is how we have managed to use this manure, the organic liquid manure, and we stay healthy. That's why I'm healthy. I've stayed 64 kilograms for the past three, four years. So all those things I give you, they are purely natural. We control a lot of diseases, a lot of problems whenever we use natural things. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for farming with Christine. Remember to subscribe to my channel because we always bring the cheapest, the easiest, and best methods everybody can use and farm. Thank you. May the good Lord bless you all.